pranayam has become very popular these days many people practice pranayam and it's very good also that we are becoming more aware of keeping ourselves healthy we are becoming aware of keeping our respiration better and we are keep becoming aware of our traditional practices but there are some very simple mistakes which are generally being done by people practicing pranayam and pranayam is a deep science what is prana shakti what is pranayam pranayam means just simply few respiratory practices or it is a divine science which is much beyond just respiratory practices that is not the topic for today's video but if you want to have an in depth video on pranayam do write to us at the comment box below and if we will receive your request we will definitely try to come up with a video on that and then in our instructor course teacher training course of moksha aitan yoga sansthan this topic is covered widely but for this video we are talking about six general mistakes being done by the pranayam practitioners so first such mistake is not holding a proper posture i have seen so many people walking and doing pranayam they're just doing walk and then they simply sit on a stool or a uh, or um, an area in the garden a chair or some stool and they start practicing pranayam there doing pranayam while walking doing pranayam doing other activities is not recommended pranayam what is the first rule of pranayam sthir sukham asanam first you 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 maintain a stable posture and then only you practice pranayam so it's very very important that you okay fine there are few people who cannot sit on floor in that case you can sit on a chair keeping your spine straight and chair means um, not couch which is fluffy which is uh, which is um, uh, which is not firm as a base so your base shall be firm while practicing pranayam so this is the first rule now second uh, is very very important doing wrong pranayam at wrong time so i have seen people practicing bhastrika in summers and shitali and shitkari pranayam in winters see we need to understand if you learn something learn it properly bhastrika is a pranayam which which shall not be done in summers which shall not at all be done in summers um shitali and shitkari are two pranayams which shall not be done in winters until and unless told and recommended by your guru for some specific ailment otherwise we should absolutely prohibit practicing bhastrika in summers and shitli and shitkari in winters so rest other pranayam nadi shodhan can be practiced 12 months um kapal bhati few few scholars consider it as only shatkarm uh, it is a shatkarm of course but few consider it as pranayam as well and then ujjayi bhramari can be practiced 12 months now a uh, third mistake is when we practice pranayam before asana so i have seen many people they just wake up in the morning and they start practicing pranayam we need to understand that we need to practice some pavan mukta kriyas some basic asana or some basic asana or some basic movement of your body before doing pranayam because just understand when you do pranayam when you practice pranayam your respiration becomes better and the oxygen of a uh, flow of oxygen becomes better now if you have toxins at different joints of your body the flow of oxygen will be hampered but if you do pavan mukta kriyas or if you practice asan or some basic movements before pranayam your joints get open in the morning because whole night you are sleeping in one situation one position so when you do some stretchings and some bendings and some opening practices what happen is the joints get open your entire body is open and then you can feel that circulation of breath in a better way now fourth is um, doing pranayam indoors this is the latest fad people sitting in air conditioned rooms and practicing pranayam which is not recommended at all especially while practicing pranayam we should practice pranayam at an area where there is good ventilation it is a ventilated well ventilated room or in some open area greenery even if you are doing it indoors you are such you are under such circumstances that you just cannot do it outdoors open your window open your doors 
and even if you're doing it in a closed environment in a closed room with ac in it at least try to practice it at a place where there are not many people around you so find an isolated place find a peace and calm place find an outdoor place for your pranayam practice next fifth is not ending your pranayam practice with nari shodhan so quickly quickly people are doing pranayam this pranayam that pranayam three four we do we make a combo of pranayam no it, even if you do one single pranayam that is more than enough but always end it with nari shodhan to give a proper effect if you end it with nari shodhan this is going to give more effect of even to the results of that pranayam which we have recently done last is not resting after your pranayam practice now generally people think that okay fine after my yogic practices after asan practice after gati practice or after any kind of workout fine we know that we need to take rest but uh, we need to take rest after pranayama as, as well no 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 that's not uh, required no we must practice a little bit of shavasan or we must practice some basic relaxation even after pranayam so that when you're just lying down in a relaxed state let the after effect of pranayam work and heal your system so these are six general mistakes let's do a quick recap uh, not taking proper posture uh doing wrong pranayam at wrong time uh doing pranayam before asan doing pranayam indoors not ending pranayam practice with nari shodhan and not ending pranayam practice with relaxation so when you practice pranayam now make sure that you do not uh make these mistakes and if you have any other question any other query do write to us we will come up with a solution for all of you thank you so much lots of love light and blessings for all of you.